Hello and welcome to Rapacious Reads. I'm Rebecca and uh, it's time for Victober. Okay, so um, I have fallen down the rabbit hole of watching so many Victober TBR announcements and uh, I couldn't stop myself and I started reading my Victober TBR already. Whoops. Into my first book, which is uh, Cecil, The Adventures of a Coxcomb by Catherine Gore. And I chose this book because I was watching Steve Donahue's video and he was talking about how this book is out of print and nobody would be able to find it. And it raised my hackles as a librarian. So I had to go find it. Um, and it was, it was a Google, there was a Google version. Uh, it's a terrible version with some man's like thumbs on every single page, but it's legible and I'm living with it because it's a really funny book. Um, it, it's about this, this coxcomb, a, a, uh, a purveyor of women, uh, a loose bachelor uh, with no, no virtue. And I didn't really um, pay attention to the challenges when I was making this list. It was just like, what do I have? What's around? What, what do I feel like reading? Um, so second on my TBR is Bleak House by Charles Dickens. And this is because I've been wanting to read this book for like months. Ever since? No, not ever since. I read Dombey and Son like two years ago and having read that I sort of fell back in love with Dickens and I wanted to read something else by him. And I decided that the next thing I was going to read would be Bleak House. So hopefully I get to that this month. However, uh, I don't have a copy. Uh, so hopefully some library has one because it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to read on the e-reader, especially when you spend all day working on the computer. Like my eyes are just, they, they're done with screens. Um, so second of all, um, I was in a used bookshop and I saw Cranford there. Uh, so I just grabbed it. Um, and it's on so many people's TBRs and, uh, and Kate Howell keeps talking about it. So I feel like I made a very good decision. And then next, uh, and finally, because this is a very short list because I work full time and uh, these are big books. <laughs> well, Cranford isn't, but um, you know, Victorian books on the whole are quite large. Um, the, fin the finale is uh, The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. And this one I was terrified was gonna be from like the early 1900s. And I was like, it's not gonna be a Victorian, but it is. Um, and it's a spooky, mystery, gothic, scary thing. And I am scared to read back the book uh, because I don't wanna be spoiled. <laughs> no, it's fine. I can live with it. Uh, isn't, it isn't this nice? I, okay, so I've been buying these editions addictively because they're always three for 10 at Indigo. And there are the shittiest editions ever. The covers like peel on them, which I've never seen on other kinds of books, but I don't recommend uh, this publisher, okay?